Hi, this video goes over how to enter maps for academic programs into TrackDAT. Proceed only with this video if you have already entered an assessment plan into TrackDAT. You can use TrackDAT for mapping in several different ways. First, you can indicate how your course curriculum aligns to your outcomes. I'm going to explain about that here in a minute. You can also indicate how your outcomes align to your goals or larger goals, be that of the unit, university, strategic plan, etc. And then you can also indicate how your goals, if you had entered them, align to larger goals, so unit, university, accreditation, etc. First, we're going to go over curriculum mapping, then we're going to go over curriculum, outcome mapping, and goal mapping in the system. So let's first go over what is curriculum mapping. A curriculum map is a matrix table indicating when and where learning outcomes are taught throughout a program. The benefit of a curriculum map is that you can see where gaps in learning may be. You can start by creating a table with the columns, with the, excuse me, with the outcomes in the rows and all the required courses in the columns. So let's see some examples. So here we have our outcomes and then here we have our courses. So this is the matrix setup. And this is a basic curriculum map. So it's just X marks the spot. So this SLO is found in this course. This SLO is found in this course, etc. So the benefit of us having built this curriculum map is because now we can see that SLO is not covered in any, SLO3 is not covered in any course. So we, you can use this map to redesign our program to ensure that that SLO is indeed being taught. Another example of a curriculum map with X marks the spot. So here we saw that this SLO was not being covered. In this curriculum map, what we're seeing is that course four is not contributing to any SLO. So we can use this map to provide justification regarding why the class, whatever class this is, may need to be rebuilt or maybe it doesn't need to be offered. And we can ensure that the course is only used as an elective, not as a major requirement since it's not contributing to a SLO. An advanced curriculum map indicates the levels of student development, and those levels are typically called Introduce, Developing, and Mastery, but you can see them in different um, curriculum maps. They may, be do, they may be beginning, intermediate, advanced, um, but this is something common, Introduce, Developing, and Mastery. So we can use a curriculum map like this to indicate the levels of student development. In addition, you can indicate at which levels an assessment is also attached. So for example, an assessment is attached to all these mastery levels and then to this developing level. So by mapping this out, you can see where some levels of student development are missing. So for example, in SLO 1, it's only introduced and then students are expected to master it and they were never given the opportunity to develop it. So that could give you good indication that you might need to make a revision to your curriculum. So. We talked about what track you can do in TrackDAT in terms of mapping. So we went over what course curriculum is, course curriculum map is. Now I want to go over how to enter these different particular maps into TrackDAT. So I'm going to escape out of this PowerPoint and I'm going to actually go into the system. So browse to trackdat.sandiego.edu and then go ahead and log in. And you'll be brought to your home page. So go ahead and select your program that you're interested in building a map for. So here we are. And I'm still going to discuss which PowerPoint slide we are on. So we are, if you look at the bottom right of your PowerPoint, we are currently on PowerPoint slide nine. So to enter a curriculum map, open mapping and then open curriculum mapping. So here are all the courses that are in the program. And then here are the particular outcomes. So to add a outcome to a particular course to indicate that it's taught in that particular course, all you need to do is cl click the box. And then if you're interested, you can also click develop, introduce, master. So if it's black, that means that it's checked. If it's gray, it means that it's not. So just click wherever they are in your particular program. You may want to build this outside of um, TrackDAT before you actually input it into the system. It's up to you. 
And if the courses are not listed here, the IESI department can upload them for you. All right, so let's go ahead and click Save. The next thing that we want to talk about is outcome mapping. So again, from mapping, now we can click outcome mapping. And so from the drop down, we can select the larger goals, which we want our outcomes to be attached to. So here's our outcomes in the program. And then here are some larger goals. So we have some goals in the program, but we also have university undergraduate outcomes, for example. We also have strategic plan different things. If you um, need additional drop downs, contact IESI to be able to add them for you. And you can select where they are in the program. So for example, this learning outcome of knowledge, it may relate to this one. Yeah, exactly. Knowledge right here. So select what, what aligns. And then when you're done, you can click save. Alrighty, and then the last type of outcoming that I want to talk about is goals mapping. So again, go to mapping and then click goals mapping. And then this screen will display. So from the drop down, choose the larger goal that you are trying to associate with. So for example, I might be interested in the strategic plan pathways. And I can attach my program goal to the student learning outcome goal. I can probably attach a lot of my program goals to that. Okay, so go ahead and click save and then you're done. Yay. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. So you're done entering your maps. Congratulations. The next thing that you'll want to do is just make sure that you've entered it correctly. So what you can do is you can go to reports, standard reports, Reports, standard reports, and then click from under mapping. You can click from the reports that are available to you. So you may click this curriculum mapping and click open report. And you can see what we've entered. So these were the courses, these were the outcomes, and we had selected introduce, develop, develop, master, etc. Thank you. If you have any questions, please contact the Office of Institutional Effectiveness and Strategic Initiatives at the University of San Diego.